talking about the Marvel crossover. This can bleed into Star Wars and other areas, and it probably means at some point soon they may just abandon Lore Canon. Just abandon Lore Canon. Just abandon Lore Canon. Abandon Lore Canon. Don't be surprised if that doesn't come your way. When I say Superman, what do you think? It's truth, justice, hero. When I say Batman, what do you think? You think vigilante, truth seeker, hero. When I say Moxman, what do you th what do you think? It's deceit. It's lies. It's misinformation. It's Canadian. <laughs> I uh, before I have to make another apology video uh, to Canadians uh, because of the Moxman. I'm just joking, okay? And the Moxman's at it again, and so I have to make another video about something the Moxman has said. Uh, here's a, I just, it kind of blew my mind when I heard this, like, uh, don't be surprised when, uh, Disney just abandons Ravensburger and, uh, it just goes for Wizards of the Coast because obviously that's what's going to happen. Don't be surprised. Like I'm going to be fucking insanely surprised if all of a sudden Disney decides to give up, uh, one of the most anticipated, uh, hyped up games of all time. Like you, it sells out. Uh, each on each release, it automatically sells off, off automatically. Boxes of the new set, Rise of the Rise of the Floodborne, haven't sold for under three hundred and forty dollars, and that's just regular boxes with a you know you get a foil per pack, and you might ha get an enchanted card in there. It's not all this flashy foil uh, foil collector variant bullshit that Magic has to do. These are just regular booster boxes that are selling for 300, 24 packs, mind you, that are automatically, from the start, selling for $345. And they're uh, completely sold out everywhere. People are freaking out about this, and I wouldn't, you wouldn't be surprised? Don't be surprised? I'm gonna fucking chip my pants if they, if they do that. Like, what are you talking about? Um, but I wanted to explore this idea, like, um, cause I hadn't, it hadn't even really occurred to me that somebody might think this. And I think there's a reason why, um, uh, there's a few people out there. There's Rudy, there's a uh, Moxman here. Uh, some people who are more entrenched in the magic sphere that they, uh, no, don't really want to look outside for something that's might be, uh, the best tool that I think we have to fix magic. The gathering is Lorcana, uh, which is a, I know a shock uh, to some people, but we can explore that by the end of the video. So I just wanted to talk real quick on some reasons why, uh, and I don't, I don't think this is could happen, but Disney might want to not, uh, abandon Ravensburger and just go with wishes of the coast. And, uh, number one is because they just can't meet demand. Uh, they can't meet demand. The next set comes out. The set after this comes out, uh, they keep doing these low print runs and then people, uh, just get pissed off and they decide to not play the game anymore. They don't want to buy the boxes. They don't want to buy the singles. It's not worth it to them to get into the game because the scalpers and everyone out there is, uh, stealing the product. So they're not able to get it. So they just stop playing. Um, and then, uh, they release future sets. This is another thing that, uh, what if they release a future broken set? Ravensburger is currently there. Um, they're not, uh, the experience that they have, they haven't proven themselves. They're unproven. They haven't shown the world that they can manage multiple sets. And this is a, a company that says they have a 10 year plan. So 10 years, uh, what are they going to do about power creep? What are they going to do about, uh, the collector's items or reprints? Like, uh, there's a lot of unproven things here that, uh, uh Ravensburger hasn't shown yet. Why not just go with Wizards of the Coast? Because they're so proven, you know? They're, they have a, a, a glorious track record and uh, millions of satisfied fans, and nobody complains about them ever. So why not uh, go with Wizards of the Coast? Um, <clears throat> anyways, um, they can't uh, attract... This is the next reason. They can't attract uh, collectors. They can't in attract investors. It, it seems like Ravensburger from the beginning has stated that it's not really their intention to get... Um, that collector investor involved in the game. Like that's not their, their, what they're, uh, what the, the forefront of what they want, which is kind of odd because you, you think you would have printed a lot more if that's what they felt like. But, um, that's why with like the next reprint that's coming out, the one that's coming out, uh, this week, um, the, there should be a new reprint, or at least, um, uh, there should be new booster packs out of uh, LGSs. Like there's no difference between alpha and beta. There's no, there's no marking. There's no difference in the borders. They're literally the same cards. 
And from what they've said, uh, that you won't be able to tell the difference. Now, people always seem to manage to find a way. So there could be some sort of like serialized thing or uh, somebody can point it out. And collectors, that's kind of up to them to find it. Investors, too, if they're interested in that. Oh, and they also said there might be some errata on some of the cards. So uh, some of the cards might have different writing or things like that to uh, fix what they needed to uh, fix in between. So that could be something, but you'd have to open the pack to find out. So, but just from looking at the booster box, you won't be able to tell the difference. And then also that's the other thing. There's no seals on the boxes. So um, they say you can track the box and make sure all the packs belong in the same box because they have the, the connected serial number on the pack, but that's not enough for collectors uh, or investors. Uh, they want to get uh, seals. They want to get uh, they want to know which reprint there is. So their uh, Ravensburger, Ravensburger has kind of uh, given them the shaft. So let's say that they're out too. So players are out because they can't uh, find the product. Investors and collectors are out because Ravensburger is giving them no, uh, they're not throwing them any bones. They're not helping them out on the collectability. And then, <clears throat> so people stop buying the game. So, but that's a future problem. We don't have that yet, but these are all unknowns and things that like could happen that would cause Disney to be like, you know what? <clears throat> it's just easier to work with Wizards of the Coast. It's easier. Like why not just, they, uh, they've they been around for years. We sell them the license. Uh, they, uh, they'll they give us all these flashy variants. They already have a customer base of millions of people. Why are we gonna be in here with uh, this tiny little puzzle maker that all they've been able to do is produce these awesome board games, uh, Villainous, if you didn't know, Ra Ravensburger made Villainous, which have sold over a million copies worldwide, which is why uh, they're working with Ravensburger to begin with. I believe it's they formed that relationship to do this. But um, <clears throat> why not just go uh, work with Wizards of the Coast? And they're already doing that with uh, with Marvel here. So, And that's the whole point, is that <clears throat> people think, because uh, Disney is uh, gone with Marvel, that um, <laughs> has gone with Wizards of the Coast for a new Marvel set that they're just going to completely forget about Ravensburger. And I think that there's an easy solution to this before um, we get on to, uh, well, actually, there's one more thing I want to bring up too. Uh, and I have my notes over here. That's why I'm looking over here. It's, they have a lawsuit too. So that could be another reason why uh, uh, Disney doesn't want to work with Ravensburger because the lawsuit gets out of hand. hand. They don't want to deal with that. That's just bullshit though. So, so those are the reasons I could think of just out of the top of my head, because uh, it's easier. The they might lose players. Like a lot of these things haven't really happened yet, and I think there is a like a solution for this that a lot of people haven't thought of. At least the mox fans of the world out there is that uh, there's different versions of Marvel. You know, like and it's very simple and easy for me to think that Wizards of the Coast they're probably not gonna get, they're not going to get. Uh, Disney Marvel. Disney Marvel is completely different than comic book Marvel. The the Marvel that you grew up with versus the Marvel we got like once Iron Man the movie came out. So you can think about this. Uh, uh, Wizards of the Coast releases a comic book set. You're not going to see like Chris Hemsworth or uh, uh, I can't I don't know actors names. It was Scarlett Johansson or uh, anybody who's played. Any, you're not going to see the actual actors from the movies in the Wizard set. So it's just going to be the comic book version of Marvel. Now, I would be concerned. <laughs> I'll tell you this. If we start seeing previews on there and it's got Tom Holland, Spider-Man in the Wizards of the Coast set, that would give me some concern here. Because here's my thought, and it's very simple. Uh, Wizards of the Coast gets a Marvel comic book and uh, Ravensburger gets Disney Marvel, which is uh, a specific version of Marvel. So we're going to see the Avengers. We're going to see all the actors and like cartoon forums like it's, and it's it's not unheard for Wizards of the Coast to hand out the license, or not, I'm sorry, for Disney to hand out the license to Marvel or any of their stuff to anybody. How many like toys, uh, how many uh, board games, how many uh, card games that have already come out or trading cards have come out with Marvel already on it? Same thing with Star Wars. We're, already having, we're having a Star Wars TCG come out this year its own TCG, and then there's this suspected Wizards of the Coast uh, uh, Star Wars set that might be coming out the following year, and then we're going to have a, a Ravensburger there that could produce their own Star Wars. It, <clears throat> this would suck if uh, Wizards of the Coast got the OG trilogy, and then uh, Ravensburger got, oh, Disney Star Wars. Ooh, let's hope not. Let's please, oh, I guess you get the Mandalorian, which would be cool, and... Uh, God, what is that? Andor was great. So there is some uh, good Disney stuff. But it, I think it's very easy for them to split it up. And there's no, just because uh, Wizards of the Coast is giving getting Marvel in no way should make you think that, oh, uh, <laughs> Lorcan is dying. Lorcan is dead. It's dead in the water. 
Um, and there's a few reasons I uh, I came up with which why uh, Disney would want to stay with Ravensburger, and that's because it's easy money. Uh, like they're already shown themselves that they're uh, that this card game is a success off the bat. You can't say that it's not. It's sold out everywhere. Everybody's calling for it. Everybody wants it there. Nobody, you go to a Target, you go to a Walmart, what's sitting on the shelves? It's Pokemon, it's uh, Wizards, It's Digimon, it's uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, Lorcana, you can't find it anywhere. And then you're going to say, well, it's because it's short printed. But we'll have to see how it goes in the future. But if they just continue to print stuff and people keep eating it up, why not just take that easy money there? Um, so also uh, with Ravensburger, they have full control. This is a smaller company. This is um, uh, somebody that they've worked with through Villainous, and they know that they can trust them um, <clears throat> uh, to do what they want them to do. I think they've been able to, you know, Disney is kind of um, uh, tight with the stuff that they, they do. I mean, there's Mirrorverse, if you've seen that, and then there's that other mobile game that they came out, out with. So I guess they are a little more open to having, like, variants of Disney characters and stuff like that. But I, they trust Ravensburger to do the right thing with uh, the Disney IP, and they've proven that. And they can trust; they can have they have the trust, and they have the control. Uh, unlike that, uh, with Hasbro, there might be a little more uh, pull there, you know. So, uh, also they have a ten year roadmap, and um, Ravensburger st uh, stated that the following year, uh, Lorcan is already coming out in more countries. So it's hard for me to imagine that. With all these plans, all this um, excitement that is around, and uh, with a 10-year plan, with uh, more countries getting Larkana, that why would Disney just abandon that? Like there, Well, <laughs> there's always suits up top who have no clue what's going on. They're like, Magic the Gathering? Isn't that Pokemon? You know, we, 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 let's just give it to Wizards of the Coast. They're the Pokemon people, you know? And there's always, you know, corporate decisions that happen that make you scratch your head. But this would be... <clears throat> one of the biggest head scratchers of a trading card market times, you know? And of course, if that happened, I would believe Ravensburger would have to find a new IP and create a new game. And uh, imagine that boxes of Lorcana, any existing one would just skyrocket. So <laughs> if, okay, here's the deal. If you believe what Moxman believes, buy all the boxes now. Okay. If they're 350 bucks, if they're 500 bucks, um, if you think this card game's going away, then buy them right now. Put your mouth, your money where your mouth is. Buy all the boxes right now because you're going to be a millionaire, okay? These boxes will shoot up to $2,000, $3,000 a box. So uh, <laughs> if you believe that, buy boxes. You're, you're a complete idiot. So um, I'm not calling Moxman an idiot. I'm saying <laughs> that if you believe that, you should buy the boxes. If, because if you don't, you're an idiot. So <laughs> Moxman, buy some boxes, okay? And then uh, so my final thought here is like, so there's a couple people I like, like I like the Mox man. I like Canadians, okay? I'm just joking, just jokes, okay? And Rudy, and Rudy has been completely, uh, he won't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Uh, they, cause I believe he falls into that collector investor uh, category where um, they're not really, uh, uh, what's the word, catering to those people. They're not wooing them. They're not, they're not doing their proper job to woo uh, uh, Rudy or Mox man. And I think, <clears throat> A lot of that has to do, which is kind of where I see them, where they are. I think they're more like way into like reserve list and Magic the Gathering just from like a, a bigger, longer term perspective. Like they've been in it for a long time. And so they're always talking about re reserve list stuff. So it's just not um, really a, a great opportunity for them because if uh, Lorcana comes along and starts really taking away from Magic, I mean, people are going to be way less interested in reserve lists. They're going to be way less interested in magic. Like, I'm seeing if Lorcana can come in and really take a bite out of Magic the Gathering, it could do damage to them. And I'm not saying that, that that's what they're doing, that some sort of conspiracy to keep uh, Lorcana down, but I just don't see that. I, they just don't s see it. They don't see the potential here. And the, the potential for Lorcana to save Magic the Gathering is, is uh, that's my favorite thing about it. I love Lorcana. But if Lorcana could whoop the shit out of Magic and get them to get their act together, that's the most exciting thing about this. So I really want it to succeed. I'll, I have a ton of fun playing it. I have a ton of fun collecting it. I have a ton of fun getting it. I love what they've done with it. So I want Lorcana to stick around, especially as competition, because the more better, the bigger competition we have here, and also people who are doing it right, 
And right now, I feel like Lorcana is doing it right. And Magic the Gathering is doing it so wrong. So I, I hope they can uh, help them to see the light in the future. And I feel that we could all uh, help them to see the light by participating in more Lorcana. So not wishing for its downfall. Uh, but if they start mess doing crazy stuff, not getting enough product out there, uh, making horrible sets, uh, <clears throat> doing crazy stuff that uh, makes us not like them in the future, uh, then so be it. But we're not there. We're not even close to there. We're right now. It's all to the moon. It's all rockets. We're doing shh, wonderful. So uh, those are my thoughts on it. <laughs> I don't see Lorcana going anywhere. I will shit a brick if it does go somewhere. I was like, I should make a bet that I would do something, but I don't want to do that. I hate that stuff. So uh, if you have a good idea for a bet that I can do, if you want me to eat like a, a deck of Lorcana, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Put it in the comments. Okay. Anyways, I wanted to, uh, just, <clears throat> so I was out for my birthday, so I was gone on Friday. I'm now 37. I know I look a lot older, so I'm not 36. I'm now 37. Um, I had a great Halloween weekend. Uh, we went and got barbecue and uh, uh, went to a Halloween party. I dressed up like Peter Pan. I wanted to get on video and do this. I wanted to make a video dressed up as Peter Pan, but it, I didn't look that good. And I was just too busy, okay? And so <clears throat> I'm happy to make a video today, get back into the swing of things. Um, but that's really it that all I wanted to get across and all I wanted to say. So uh, thank you so much for subscribing and uh, taking your time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. I should have a new mic coming in soon, one that hopefully works. So my audio will improve. That would be good. Um, and I'm going to rearrange the office. I'm working. I know you can't tell because it still looks like shit, but I'm really working on it. I promise, okay? Uh, which is another reason I've been gone because I've been trying to keep everything clean. So uh, I'm sorry I missed the last couple of days. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later, okay? You have a good night. Bye-bye.